In part a, the graph of y equals x squared minus 2 is vertically stretched so it passes through the point 2, 6. Write the equation of the applied transformation. Solve graphically first, then solve algebraically. Begin by drawing the graph of y equals x squared minus 2. When the graph is vertically stretched, it passes through the point 2, 6. Draw a dot at this location. The original point was 2 units above the x-axis, and the stretched point is 6 units above the x-axis. The vertical stretch factor is 6 divided by 2, which is 3. In other words, if we multiply the original y-value by 3, we'll get the new y-value. The equation of the transformation is y equals 3f of x. Now we'll find the transformation equation algebraically. A vertical stretch has the form y equals a f of x. We know the transformed graph passes through the point 2, 6. Plug in 2 for x and 6 for y. We need to evaluate f at 2 in order to continue our algebraic solution. Use 2 as the input for the original function, f of x equals x squared minus 2. This will return a value of 2. In our algebraic steps, replace f at 2 with 2. Divide each side of the equation by 2 to get a equals 3. Since the transformation equation is y equals a f of x, and we know that a equals 3, the equation of the transformation is y equals 3 f of x. This is the same result we obtained using a graphical solution earlier. In part b, the graph of y equals x minus 1 squared is transformed by the equation y equals f of bx. The transformed graph passes through the point minus 4, 4. Write the equation of the applied transformation. Solve graphically first, then solve algebraically. Begin by drawing the graph of y equals x minus 1 squared. We know the graph passes through the point minus 4, 4 when it is horizontally stretched. Draw a dot at this point. The original point was 1 unit to the left of the y-axis, and the stretched point is 4 units to the left of the y-axis. The horizontal stretch factor is 4 divided by 1, which is 4. In other words, if we multiply the original x-value by 4, we get the new x-value. The equation of the transformation is y equals f of 1 over 4x. Recall that the reciprocal of the horizontal stretch factor goes inside the function. Now we'll find the transformation equation algebraically. A horizontal stretch is represented by y equals f of bx. We know the transformed graph passes through the point minus 4, 4. Plug in minus 4 for x and 4 for y. Simplify this so it reads f at minus 4b. We need to evaluate f at minus 4b before we can continue with our algebraic solution. Use negative 4b as the input for the original function, f of x equals x minus 1 squared. f at negative 4b returns negative 4b minus 1 squared. In our algebraic steps, Replace f at negative 4b with negative 4b minus 1 squared. Take the square root of each side to isolate b. The square root of 4 is plus or minus 2.
We write the equation with b on the left side. Add 1 to both sides of the equation and divide by negative 4 to isolate b. There are two possible values for b, negative 3 over 4 or 1 over 4. The b value of 1 over 4 gives the transformation equation y equals f of 1 over 4x, which is what we found graphically. However, algebra revealed a second b value, negative 3 over 4. This gives the transformation equation of y equals f of negative 3 over 4x. We should verify that this transformation equation will make the graph pass through the point negative 4, 4. First apply the horizontal stretch of 4 over 3 by multiplying all the x values by 4 over 3. Recall that the horizontal stretch factor is a reciprocal of the value inside the function. Next, reflect the graph about the y-axis. The transformed graph passes through the point negative 4, 4. In conclusion, there are two transformation equations that will make the graph pass through negative 4, 4. y equals f of 1 over 4x, or y equals f of negative 3 over 4x. Note that using algebra helped us find a second solution that was hard to spot graphically.